Hey guys, I'm putting this video together because on an Android, some people are finding they're having a tricky time using the keyboard option to post the photos from the board. So I wanna show you another way to do that that I just learned, which makes it really, really easy. So this should work on an Android as well as an iPhone, but this is how you can post the images directly to your wall, stories, or a Facebook group. This is not for your business page, just to be clear. Okay, so let's say I want to post something from the April folder. I'm just gonna pick something, spring break, okay? And you're gonna click on this little arrow with a square, and it might look slightly different on your Android, but the option should be there to share it. And you're gonna choose Facebook, and then it's gonna ask you where to share. So you can either share it to your story now, it won't let you add any fun things or polls or you know pictures on top of it, but you can share it directly to your story or your news feed. So when you click on the news feed, it's actually gonna give you an option up here if you wanna change it. So you could do a friend's timeline. I'm not exactly sure why you would wanna do that, but it does have the option or a group. So your VIP group or you know whatever group you wanna post to. Um, for the news feed, Let's just keep it there. You can choose again, public, close friends, all those all those different options you have before. And you can add your own text and then you're just gonna click post. If you do it on a group, okay, again, you're just gonna pick your group. Um, it doesn't have the option to schedule it on your group this way, just so you know, um, but you can post it right to your group that way as well. Um, the other workaround for Androids, let me just show you, um, this is, a slight workaround this is not the ideal way but you can do it this way is on facebook you can message things to yourself so i've already done a bunch here just to show um, but you can message things to yourself so let's say april and you could do a bunch of them and then you can just paste it um, and then what you can do is the image you just message to yourself you can click on it hit more save and then you can go wherever you want and then post that so now you can go to the business suite. Right now, that is not, um, the boards app doesn't work for scheduling on the business suite. So you do have to kind of save it, okay? And then um, go from there. We love German pancakes in our house. Okay, boom, that's done. So you still can schedule them. There's just a slight workaround. Now the other thing is on that boards app, you'll see that there's this interactive boards, Google Drive. Right now you do have to copy it. Okay, in the future, you should be able to just click on it. It'll take you there. But right now you have to copy it. Go to you know Safari or open up your web browser. Paste and go. Boom. Now, I will be honest that all the photos are not up here yet. This was more of an afterthought when I realized that the business scheduling wasn't working quite the way I wanted to with the Boards app. But um, eventually I will have, so like I don't have March in there yet. Eventually I will have all the images here as well. So you can download them, you know, once, one at a time or big mass. Um, the easiest way if you have a computer, so obviously you can download them one at a time. You just click this little download button. It'll download, okay? Um, but if you have a computer, if you, especially if you have an iPhone, um, what I think is the quickest way is you can actually, you could actually download, um, you know, all of the folders individually. And then I would just do this one month at a time if you really want to. But I, you could download, um, like I said, I'm in the process of adding these, so... There's not a lot in here yet, but you can download this whole folder to your computer and then airdrop it to your phone and then use it with the app to easily schedule. So just to give you, you know, a little bit of ideas of what you can do. Um, the other thing I've been putting together, which I don't have quite done yet, but I will within the next several weeks is a Trello board, which again is just another way to save them. I personally think the Google Drive is a little bit quicker to save the images, um, but the Trello board is kind of nice because it's organized into the months and you can see them all like this. Um, when you click on it, 
you can see the first image, the second image, the third image, etc. So the cover photo just shows the first image, but you can see here, like it says, attached little five, attached five, attached seven. So this one has seven pictures. So when you click on this first picture, you can go through and browse and pick the one you actually want to use. My goal is that each post has several photos so that we're not all posting the same thing. And, it's, and so you could actually use this board for years, right? Because you're just switching out the post, rename, make cover photo. So to download it, you just click on the little arrow and the square, and then you can choose to save it. Um, I bet you can also, oh, look at that. You can also share from Trello, which is pretty sweet. I actually didn't know that, so that's cool. I just figured that out. Um, yeah, lots of cool things you can do here. Or Messenger, you can send it to yourself that way as well. Look at that. Oops. Okay, maybe not. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I don't know about that kind of stuff, so I haven't tried that, but um, well, let's try this. I'm just curious. I know I'm taking a little bit longer, but now this is making me think like, oh, when, is it something I can do? Boom. Sweet. Nice. Figured out a new cool thing. All right, cool. So you can use Trello to post directly too. So that's awesome. Didn't know that before. That's like made my day. So all of these images will be on Trello, the Google Drive, and the Boards app. So huge value for you guys that are using this um, just to have access to all of that. I'm like actually like stoked that I figured out how to do that. That's the coolest thing ever. All right, let me know if you guys have questions on how to use the Boards app or the Trello board once it gets added. Thanks, guys.